it's Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a donation website with Canva. Once on canva.com, all I want you to do is below the search bar, you're going to select websites. From here, you're going to tap on create blank website. Then you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you're going to see numerous templates that you can choose from on the left hand column. But what I want you to do is you're going to tap on layouts from the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on layouts, you can see different layout options that you can choose from. Now let's say for example, I want to create a one page donation website and I'm going to be using this layout for example sake. So I will select that. And let's say we are creating a donation website for our pet dogs. So I'll be adding a picture of my dog right there. So I'll go over to the left hand menu option. You could tap on uploads and you could tap on upload image or video and you could upload an image. But I'll be using elements as I'm going to be using a copyright free image. So I'm going to type in dogs right there. Then from there, I'm just going to drag and place this cute pic. After doing that, you can write a short caption right here. So for example, support our cause. After you have done that, what I want you to do next is you're going to open a new tab and you're going to go onto PayPal. Once on PayPal, you're going to tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on the settings cog, you're going to tap on seller tools in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you're going to simply scroll down and you're going to tap on PayPal buttons. After selecting PayPal buttons, you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on donate. After selecting donate, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, what I want you to do next is you are going to see the option to either create a link or you can customize a button or start a campaign. I would recommend that you select start a campaign. So you are going to tap on start a campaign right here. After you have selected start a campaign, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you can change the display name from the left hand column right here. So we could change the display name to something else if you want. You can add in your campaign title. After doing that, if you would like to set your campaign goal, you can do that. You can also select the campaign currency that you would like to use. After everything is to your liking, you are going to tap on continue. Then from here, you can upload a cover image. Go here and you'll normally upload the picture. For example, I'm going to be uploading just a random pic. So let's say for example, this one. And I'm just going to be using that one as the header. But like how I wanted to use the dog, you could use a dog or you could use, depending on what your donation campaign is about, you could use it at the header pick right there. After you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. And if you'd like to get the donor's mailing address or if you'd like to take the donors back to your website, you can toggle this on. After you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from there, you're going to tap on publish. Once you have tapped on publish, you'll be redirected to this page. And if we were to tap on preview, you can see how it looks right here. So this will be the donation page that persons will see. Now that you have done that, you have two options. You could either choose to tap on get a QR code and then download the QR code and add it to your website. So I'll be doing that also. Or you could tap on get shareable link. So we'll tap on get link. Then we'll copy it. After you have copied the link, you'll go back into Canva. Then from there, you could add a button right here. Now to add a button, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on elements. Then from there, you could type in buttons. So let's do that real quick. And you can see buttons right there. After you have done that, you can select from any one of these buttons. So you can tap on see all. After tapping on see all, you can scroll down until you have found a button to your liking. Let's say for example, I want to use this button right here. You can simply tap on it. After you have done that, you can drag the button into position as you can see right there, but it has a text already, so that one would not work. So I'm going to be using this one instead. So I'll select this one 
I'll simply minimize it. Then I'm going to be selecting text and I'm going to select the text box right there. After you have selected the text box, you'll simply drag and place it inside the button. And from there, you could tap, type in, for example, to donate. All right, I'll type in, click here. Then after doing that, you'll simply select the text, then tap on the link icon, and you're going to paste in the link you have copied from PayPal. After you have done that, you're going to tap on done. So now when someone comes onto your website and clicks onto this link, they'll be redirected to the donation page. So all you'll need to do now is tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your website will be live. For example, if I were to tap on preview, you can see how it looks right there. And once I tap on click here, you can see that it redirects me to PayPal and from there they'll be able to complete their donation. It is as simple as that. And also, if you would like to add the QR code option, you can do that. So you could select uploads from the left hand menu option, tap on upload an image. Then from there, you could select the QR code. After you have selected the QR code, you could add in the QR code to your website. So you could add it right there. And again, you'll tap on publish for it to go live. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.